grace is the astonishing salutation the angel of God gave to Mary on the Annunciation. In today's feature story, we are going to be discovering the reason Catholics love, venerate, and honor the Blessed Mother of our Lord. Hello, with this week's feature story, I am Tessa Habet. Our feature story is brought to you by Pink Boutique. Get ready for summer 2021 with Pink Boutique, where you can get a variety of items from toys and children's clothes to graduation dresses, shoes, blouses, handbags, swimsuits, and jewelry for the grown and sophisticated. Whether you're going to the Keys for a relaxing day on the beach or having dinner at a fancy restaurant, Pink Boutique has got you covered. Pink Boutique is located at two and a half miles on the Philip Golson Highway. You can keep up with promotions and sales on their Facebook or Instagram pages at Pink Boutique Belize or call at 223-1552. Pink Boutique is a proud sponsor of Beyond Basic and Guadalupe Media. make this procession we continue to seek intercession of our blessed mother mary our lady of guadalupe who has been at our side throughout this pandemic and so as we pray we ask for continued protection of our country misconception among many non-Catholics or even Catholics who believe the Church adores Mary, the beloved mother of Jesus. This is not the case, however, for Catholics only honor and venerate Mary. The Church has always recognized the extraordinary role she played in salvation history that is incomparable to anything any created being has ever done. She alone had the privilege to become the mother of Jesus and by whom Jesus became incarnate. In other words, Jesus took on her flesh to become man. If the angel Gabriel acknowledged the dignity of Mary by honoring and praising her, why not us too? For us, Mary is a special person. So we regard our blessed mother with great respect. We reverence her. The veneration of the Virgin Mary is actually biblical. And who is the first to venerate, to honor the Virgin Mary? Let's go to Holy Scripture. So we'll go to the Gospel of Luke, chapter 1, verses 26 to 28. And it says the following. In the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent from God to a city of Galilee named Nazareth to a virgin betrothed to a man whose name was Joseph of the house of David, and the virgin's name was Mary. And he came to her and said, Hail, full of grace, the Lord is with you the gospel of the Lord. It's God that has decided to send his messenger. He sends the angel Gabriel with a message. So this angel is going to visit our beloved Mary, not with a message of his own, but a message from God. And the message that he brings to the Virgin Mary is a message of veneration, of honoring the words he says 
on behalf of God are hail, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. These are some profound words when addressing this young little girl, this youth, this child of God that was created by him with a special purpose and he knows he formed her with that special purpose to be the mother of his child. And that's why he can say, she's full of grace. I have filled you with grace. I have created you without original sin. I have created you to be the womb, the tabernacle, where you would carry my son. And the angel says, the Lord is with you. Not the Lord will be with you, or at a point in time, the Lord will be with you. It says clearly, the Lord is with you. And that's what we recognize, the blessing of our mother, the purity, the uniqueness of this child of God, created like no other. The Lord was always with her. Angel Gabriel was not the only one who honored Mary and acknowledged her dignity as the mother of the second divine person in the Holy Trinity, Jesus Christ. Let us listen to what her cousin Elizabeth exclaimed to her. In verse 41 of chapter 1 of Luke, when Elizabeth heard Mary's greetings, the infant leaped in her womb, and Elizabeth, filled with the Holy Spirit, cried out in a loud voice and said, Most blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. Lovely words. Words that us as Catholics use in our veneration, in our honoring of our Blessed Mother. Who said these words? And under what state did this person say these words. This was Elizabeth that was pregnant with John the Baptist, one that was to be a, a great prophet, the one that was going to prepare the path for Jesus Christ. That's who Elizabeth was carrying. And she was filled with the Holy Spirit. The Gospel clearly says it. And what does the Holy Spirit do? takes her to do, the Holy Spirit guides her to proclaim our mother, our beloved Mary, as the most blessed among all women. If we ask for the prayers of our fellow brethren here on earth, how much more powerful is the one who is the most intimately connected with Jesus Christ? It is true that Jesus is the only mediator with the Father on behalf of humanity, and only He could have redeemed mankind. Nevertheless, we pray to Mary that she may intercede for us with her divine Son. Mary, the mother of Jesus, had an important role to play in God's plan of salvation. Her role was to bring Jesus into the world. As the Gospel of Luke has recorded for us, what the angel Gabriel told Mary about her role. Do not be afraid, Mary. You have found favor with God. You will conceive and give birth to a son, and you are to call him Jesus. Through the intercession of Mary, we go to Jesus. And through Mary, Jesus came on earth. So it's Mary plays an important role. In, we pray to the intercession of Blessed Mother because she is the one who presents us to Jesus and then God presents Mary to us as our spiritual mother. When, Jesus, when Mary was under the cross, Jesus gives John to her and then 
she was given to John as the mother. So she became our mother. Many would wonder, why not go directly to God instead of Mary? Well, Christianity is a communal faith, so we are required to help each other both physically and spiritually on the road to holiness. Therefore, Mary, who is our spiritual mother, is heavily invested in caring for our souls to secure our salvation. Run to Mary and plead for her aid, and she will not hesitate to respond with love and gentleness as any mother would for her beloved children. We honor Mary because she teaches humility, trust, and obedience to God's word. He teaches us to recognize and praise God for the great things he has done for us. Many things Blessed Mother has done in our lives, in our each one's life, but we are slow to recognize and slow to realize it, how Blessed Mother works. Especially when you say the rosary is the best of it. No matter how you say it, where you say it, that's a perfect prayer. It's a weapon prayer for all things in your life, temptation, trials, and difficulties. Blessed Mother, this has a great role model in our lives. That is why we have the procession to our Lady of Guadalupe, because we know that they protect us through the natural disasters that come to our way. As members of Christ's one true church, we are fulfilling the prophecy uttered by the Virgin Mary during her visit to Elizabeth. This is the fulfillment of God's plan for us to venerate His Mother. We can see it in Luke 1, 48. It says the following, For He has looked upon His handmaid's lowliness. Behold, from now on will, all ages call me blessed. Who will call our Blessed Mother blessed? All ages, all generations to come. And that's why all of us Catholics, we bless our beloved Mother. We venerate her, we recognize her as our Mother. She's not any other creation of God, she's a special, creation of God and God wanted us to have a relationship with her. We give honor to Mary because throughout scripture we can see that God honors and loves her because God gave her such an important role in the story of salvation. Devotion to Mary should not be an arbitrary or extraordinary thing. It should just be a normal part of the faith life of all believers. The only and main mission of Mary is to lead us to Christ so that in the end we can rejoice for eternity with God the Father. As children of God, as disciples of God, we were called to have a relationship with the Virgin Mary, with our beloved Mother Mary. He called us to take her into our homes, into our hearts, and keep her there and venerate her and see her greatness and be those children that generations to generations we call her the blessed, the most blessed among all women. And so I invite you to join with me and open our hearts, our families to her for their great things to come to you, to all of us when we do so. And we honor her by saying, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. May God be always with you, dear brothers and sisters. And remember, the first instance that we recall in gospel of the veneration of a mother came from a messenger sent directly from God. We continue honoring her 
until the ending of our days. Dios te salve María, llena eres de gracia, el Señor es contigo. Bendita tú eres entre todas las mujeres y bendito es el fruto de tu vientre Jesús. Santa María, Madre de Dios, ruega por nosotros pecadores, ahora y ahora de nuestra muerte. Amén. Help us each day to be courageous and passionate witness of Jesus, He who is the way, the truth, and the life. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Salve María, llena eres de gracia, el Señor es contigo. Bendita tú eres entre todas las mujeres y bendito es el fruto de tu vientre Jesús. Santa María, Madre de Dios, ruega por nosotros pecadores, ahora en la hora de nuestra muerte. Amén. Full 
of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. We desire, Our Lady of Guadalupe, to offer you the hearts of all people. We would willingly offer you at every moment all the honor given you by the saints and angels and by which they will forever give you in heaven. But unable to satisfy our desire, we offer you all that is in our power. Prostrate before you in the sentiments of the most profound veneration an ardent love in the presence of our holy guardian angels and the whole court of heaven we choose you for our queen and protectress spread your protecting mantle over our country beliefs especially when we are beset with the dangers of a hurricane establish among your children a true and lasting peace which the world cannot give so that our hearts may be drawn closer to you and that we may live the rest of our days in peace. Behold us then, O Holy Virgin, from this moment entirely consecrated to your service. We offer without reserve our bodies, our souls, our senses, our faculties, and our lives. We make now the resolution to defend your honor to the best of our power and to the glory henceforth in being your servant, your submissive and docile children. Under your powerful protection, what can we not do? For what may we not hope? In the joy and happiness we experience from having thus consecrated ourselves to you. Permit us from this valley of days to call on you for assistance. You are the dispenser of the graces of your divine Son. You possess the great, greatest influence with God. You are our mother and the most tender of mothers. Dispel the dangers to which we are exposed. Support us in our weaknesses. Assist us at every moment of our lives. Guide us to the end of our course across the turbulent ocean of this world and conduct us to the harbor of eternal happiness where we hope to bless, praise, and to love you forever with all the elect. Amen. Thanks for watching. 
For this and more feature stories, you can follow us on Facebook, subscribe to our YouTube channel, or view on Guadalupe Media Channel 96 on CCV or Channel 64 on CBC. You can also tune in on the radio in your car, home, or office at 101.9 FM, and please be sure to download the Guadalupe Media radio app from Google Play or the App Store. Our Blessed Mother, lead us to Jesus.